Hello and welcome to my channel Richard's Home Mechanics and it's Saturday again and that time means we're back out in the workshop. Um, this is my real real chill time um, no matter what sort of week I've had I can come out here put the radio on cup of coffee as you do chocky biscuits this is my world welcome to my world and a lot of you have got the same sort of world this is my man cave but it happens to be a workshop right I've had a request from a young man uh, on YouTube who goes under the name of DT Motorcycles and his request was I am struggling to change a motorcycle tire how the hell do you do it well with difficulty no only joking <laughs> um, I haven't got the room for a big tire changer because I change my own car tires and my van tires it needs must I can't afford to pay anyone hence why I do it myself so if I need my van or my bike motorcycle back on the road I can whip the tire off in 10 minutes and get it back on the road um, same for my children you know if they need things doing like that on the tires so basically I have to do everything manually so what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how I personally take a motorcycle tire off breaking the bead going from breaking the bead taking off with tire levers um, and using you know the proper lubricant and that is the name of the game if you're going to do work like this um, when you buy tools um, obviously snap-on is very expensive I've got a few snap-ons but not very much and the ones I've got are second-hand um, buy quality do not buy cheap cheap tools because they let you down now my tire levers that I actually use for changing motorcycles uh, was 60 pound for a set of three that's not cheap but they have got me out of numerous problems um, and they work they don't bend they do the job um, and also use the proper lubricant I did my research and um, I'll be guilty I used to use fairy liquid don't use fairy liquid what it does is once the tires on um, it sticks the tire to the metal for some reason and when you go to change it in maybe a years time it's a absolute calcium to get off so what you do you buy the proper paste I think this is called or mounting compound let's have a look it's like a what it's just like wax absolutely does the job it makes the job you could be struggling to get that tire on put that on makes it so much easier so what we're going to do now then we're going to get the old tire on the manual tire breaker so we're going to go through the procedure i'm going to break the break the bead that's the first thing to do we'll obviously take the valve out break the bead and then i'm going to show you how i actually take the tire off i put the tire back on uh we'll pump it up um and see if she holds um a question you may ask is how do you balance them I also balance my own motorcycle car tires and um, motorcycle and car tires. Oh, again, I've got manual equipment that I can use to do that, but we're not going to do it in this video. If anyone wants to see me how I actually balance a motorcycle tire or how I balance a car tire, actually the car tire I've done a video on that using a bubble balancer. So if you want to see how I change a how I balance uh, a, uh, when I've changed a tire on on a car or van. Flick through my YouTube channels and you'll see it, how to use a bubble balancer. So without further ado, let's go over, let's break this bead and let's get this tyre whipped off because we might need to use this bike. So let's crack on, let's do this job. Hello again. Right, what we've got here is a manual tyre changer. Now I use this basically or mainly for changing car tyres on my vans and my cars. Um, you can use it to break the bead and you can also use this piece of equipment um, to take the tire off and put it back on but it's not suitable for putting the tires on and off on a motorcycle you still have to use um, manual tire levers um, or you can buy a proper motorcycle um, changing station piece of equipment but we don't do that home mechanics we make use of what we got right so what we need to do first then um, if you wanted to see anything about that if you look through my channels and look under how to use a manual tire changer you will see how I do that Right, so first things first, the game, name of the game is we want to get this tyre off because um, it's quite bold as you can see. Um, first things first, we need to um, let the valve out, get the valve out. So we need to take the valve out, get your valve tool, here we go. Not hard. These are the sort of jobs, you just take your time. Um, 
One of these tyre changers is a real, real, real good investment. Sealy do them. I picked this up for 15 quid second hand. If you search on eBay, you will see them come up. An absolute must, and it saves you a fortune, and it saves you trouble. You know, if I get a puncture now, I haven't got to go down the garage. I can change it in 10 minutes and get it back on the van. It's a no-brainer. You know, so if you, if, you know, if you follow me on my channel, um, and you're a new, you know, a new mechanic, and you're trying to build your tools up, get one of these. They're cheap. Get it for your birthday. Anyway. What we need to do now, put a cloth down to protect the rim of the motorcycles. As we know, motorcycle tyres are very, very delicate. And all you do is you go like this. Now these have got adjustments. You can adjust the angle that this pitch is at. Now I've set it for the angle, so when you push it down with the lever, you want this to go straight down, not slide away. Now I'm quite happy I've set that right. So what we're going to do, put the bar in, make sure you... You can get as close to the motorcycle rim as possible. Now obviously when I push that down, the tyre this end is going to want to flip up. So you use your old knee, put your old knee on it. Here we go. And we're going to break this bead. It's not hard. And what you do, you just work your way around. Now see how easy. Now I haven't pre-done this. I've got the motorcycle straight out of the shed, the motorcycle wheel. Hear that? Now you heard a click then, didn't you? Now I know the bead is broke. It really is as simple as that. Just take your time. Um, a bit of advice. When you start to um, break a tyre, always break it opposite the valve. Leave the valve end till the last. It just seems to be a bit tighter there. That's how it works for me. And there we go. It really is, now I've used no effort at all to break this, and again I say you can use this for cars, absolute no brainer, you know, get one. If you're a home mechanic like me, put it part of your toolbox, ask it, get one. Now that side's broken, flip it over, making sure that this tyre can't move, put your knee back on here because it will. the wheel will want to flip up, really, really no brainer. Here you go. I've put no effort into that at all. Now, say I've not cheated. My videos are live. There's no point pretending that I'm really, you know, like it goes really easy because if you see my videos, <laughs> sometimes they don't. You know, I've done videos, I've done it live, and a bolt snapped, and I've had to go on live and actually cut it out while we're doing the job. So I don't hide anything. What you see on my channel is real life scenarios. There is absolutely no point in me doing a video and thinking, oh my God, it's gone wrong, and not showing you how to get round it. So when you, you know, when these problems uh, crop up, I'll show you how I get round it. You know, that's the idea. You do it yourself. Right, and as you can see, that bead is broken. Now that wasn't hard. You know, if I hadn't have been, you know, chatting away, showing you, 30 seconds, a minute, that would have been done. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to move this bit of equipment out of the way and um, we're going to get the manual tyre levers out and we're actually going to take this tyre off and show you how I do it. Um, yeah, right. Let's crack on. Right, what I'm going to be doing now is I've just had a delivery. A delivery of what, you may ask? How good is that? This is a Saturday morning thing, so I'm just going to nip off and have my fried breakfast because I always eat healthy and I'll see you in 10. Okay, we're back again and I feel nice and full. <laughs> My God, I enjoyed that breakfast, that was nice. Right, let's carry on with the job indeed. Right, this is what you're gonna need, or I'm going to use to change this tire, or take this tire and put it back on this motorcycle wheel. Tire levers, you also need rim protectors. You can make them out of a bit of tube, uh, cut a slit down the side and open it up. But as we progress, you'll see uh, what I use these for. So let's crack on, uh, let's get this tire off. Right, first of all, we need to get plenty of lube on here. Lube it up first. Plenty of lube. It just really does make it a lot easier. Get it on the inside of the tyre and on the edge of the metal rim, the rim of the wheel. 
push the tire down, get it all underneath. You want this tire to slip off as easy as possible. Another little tip that I can say that if you're changing this tire in the winter, put the wheel indoors or somewhere warm because they obviously rubber goes harder in the cold. So the softer this is, the easier it is to get off. So a tip, a hint is, if you're changing a bike tire or motorcycle tire, but any tire, put it indoors, warm it up just before you take it off and it will be 10 times easier. Right, so there we go. We've got that on there. Happy with that. Now, these are called rim protectors. This is where people go wrong. They try and change the tire without using one of these. They are cheap as chips. About five pound each. And all you do, you stick the rim protector in there, like that. And what that does, is as you lever, it protects your rim. And if you haven't got any of them, just get a bit of hose, cut a slit right down the middle, open it up, and use that. Job done. So anyway, let's crack on with the job indeed. Another little tip is, on the ends of my tyre levers, I'll put some masking tape, just as a bit more protection. Let's get these tyres off. Right. Here we go. One. Not hard, is it? I'm using hardly any effort. Two. Put your knee there to hold that tyre lever on. And then you work your way around. Here we go. Now, now I've done. Here we go. Now I've already broke the bead. The tire is not the tire is not so tight, so now I can use it and just work your way round. Here we go. Push the tire down. As you do it, push the tire down. How hard's that? Look. There you go. You can probably do this by hand. Flip it round. Here we go. And that'll probably cut up my hand. Look, that's how easy it is. Look, that's one side done. If you notice that I took the tire off started taking it off opposite the valve. Do not start the valve end. And again, when you put it back, do the valve the last bit that you pop in. No, sorry, pop that in first when you put the tire on. So, that weren't hard, was it? Let's take these off, out of the way. Right, let's just give it another, so we want to get this tire off, don't we? Let's just give it another bit of compound. And we're going to whip this tire off now and get it right off. Let's have a look. All right, hold it with your knees. In you go. Let's have a look. I'll get, get the tire levers around the right way. Here we go. In. See the importance of having the proper, proper equipment. Hold it. Hold it like that. Now I'm doing this on my own. Oops. That slipped. Let's get back on there. Would be easier if you've got an assistant to help you hold the wheel. It really is. Here we go. Spin it around. Definitely easier if you've got someone just to hold the rim. I'm trying to do it at the same time. Not easy. Here we go. Whew. Now, <laughs> definitely a lot easier if you've got someone to hold the wheel while I'm trying to take the tire off. There you go. Weren't hard, was it? So now, let's put it back on. It's just a reverse procedure. Now, yeah, that weren't hard. Now, if I hadn't been talking, we'd got that off in less than five minutes. So, as you can see, the importance is use the proper equipment. Use the proper compound. It makes it so much easier. See the difference, you know? And I change that tire on my own, and I'm trying to hold it and whip it off. If you had someone holding that wheel, I could have done it first time. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to re-lube the tyre, uh, put my toys, tools back in order, and we'll refit it back on. Okay, we need to get this tyre back on. Right, what we're going to do, put some plenty of compound on. And this is the same procedure, whether you're doing a car tyre, or motorcycle tyre, or push bike tyre, not so much a push bike tyre I suppose. Put plenty of compound on mounting compound, put it inside the rim, 
because that helps it make a seal when you pump it up along the edge. There you go. Right. Majority of this, I'm going to use my knees to get this on, so let's get it on. Right. So, starting at the valve end, this end, I'm going to use my knees to push it on. Here we go. Pushing it down at the same time. I'm going to get a tire lever in there. Whoops. Holding it down as you do it, pushing the back of the tire down with my knee. You notice I'm pushing the tire down. If you don't do that, the tire will not go on. Here we go. She's a going. She's a going underneath there. That's it. That's it. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> right. Not easy, but doable. Now, I've had a few people contact me saying they just cannot do it. They just cannot do it. Trust me, it, keep practicing, keep practicing. It will come with practice. So now, as you can see, that tire's back on. What I'm going to do now is go and turn my compressor on, come back, and we'll pump this little beauty up and see if she holds pressure. Right. Unfortunately, when I went to try and pump the tire up, I've just switched my compressor on, I'll give it a test, it won't pump up. Oh no, have I done something wrong? No, I haven't. Unfortunately, sometimes when you change a motorcycle tire, especially using manual tire levers, you sometimes can stretch the tire. So I've tried to offer the air gun up onto the valve and it's not having none of it. It, it, it doesn't want to know. It's not, it, it's not making a seal. It's just going to go nowhere. So here's a very, very, very simple tip that you can use if you ever come up against this scenario. And when you change motorcycle tyres, this does quite often happen. So in a way, I'm quite pleased that we've come up against this issue and I can show you how to get around it. So if you change a motorcycle tyre and when you put your gun on, it won't blow up. What you need to do is get a ratchet strap. It doesn't have to be a big one like this. Wrap it around the tyre, just give it a few little ratchets, not too tight. All you want to do is you want to pull the whole of that rim on. And then what you do, you then get your air gun. Like that, put it on there. Just going to quickly see. Now, that's holding. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not worried about the air coming out because I've got the valve out. Now I'm quite happy that's sealed, so we can just crack on and carry on pumping it. So let's release this ratchet. But that is a very, very simple tip. If you ever come up against that, put a ratchet round it, nip it up, not too tight. It will hold the tire up enough for you to make the seal. Once it's sealed, you'll hear a little tiny pop, take it off and then carry on with your normal procedure. So what we need to do now, I'm quite happy with that. That's made a seal. We can see that round the tire. That's sealed. Um, normally, I can, you can normally, when you go to tyre fitter, they pump it up quickly and put the valve in. Well, I know that's sealed, and I'm not as quick as them as putting the valves in. They have much better valve tools than I have. So we're going to put the valve in, um, and then we're just going to pump it up. So let's drop the valve in. Should have put my glasses on today. <laughs> Little valve tool. Again, buy one of these. A couple of quid. Going to nip the valve up. Not hard. Nip it up. Don't over tighten it. Hold the valve. Nip it up. Right. Let's see if she takes some air. Safety first. I'm going to lay this down because even a motorcycle tyre, tyres can explode. So I try and prevent as much risk as possible oh, to save myself. Look away. I'm going to get the valve on. I'm going to look away. Nowhere near that. Stop blowing up. 20, I think this is 36 on this particular tyre. That's 30. Thirty-six. And there we go. See the bounce test. There we go. And that is how simple it is. 
to change a motorcycle tire. Take it off, put it on. Scenario, got a puncture, you could fix it yourself, save a few quid, or you've got your MOT coming up, or you want to do a bit of scratching, etc. change your tires yourself. It's the same whether you've got a big bike, a small bike. I've even changed, um, I had a little uh, a mini moto. Uh, I don't think I've got a video of that one. I've done that, and they were really hard because they're really tight. It come off. Perseverance, take your time. Anyway, practice makes perfect. Thank you uh, for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to um, put a notifier on if you, if you like my channel. And we'll see you soon on the next episode of Richard's Home Mechanics.